Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome to the Meatball Special Episode 2. We are wearing special hats, we got as special you can hats. tell. <clears throat> What's the occasion, Emil? Why? Uh, because the spring equinox, and it's a bit sunnier here than we're used to. Phil oh. is running a little late, and we're just going to go ahead and get started without him because, uh, you know, it's it's unprofessional to just... Knock, yeah. knock, knock. Oh, who's there? Knock, knock, knock. It's me, Plonky. <laughs> oh, who's... It's me, Plonky. I'm the new co-host of the Meatball Special. Well, I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, love I love you, too. Hi, Plonky. We've been watching since we seen each other. How you doing? I don't know. Have we seen each other before? I've seen you in my dreams, you little <laughs> oh. handsome hunk. I could just stop fapping right now thinking about you. No, Plonky. Oh, my goodness. Plonky, that's an interesting accent. Where are you from? I'm from Southern. <laughs> just um, Southern? Um, southern what? A Southern Baptist. You're from Southern? Uh, Ch uh, Chile. I'm from Chile. You're from Chile. Whoa. I'm from Chile. That's an interesting. Whoa. I did not expect that kind of accent to come from a Chilean. I'm Chilean. You got to chill out with a third degree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Funky. So uh, how long are you? I'm assuming you're roommates with Phil or something. Yeah, how do you I know Phil? Phil it's because his wife is out of town a lot of times. So she needs someone to look <laughs> after him and clean up and do his laundry and stuff like that. Because he's a big little boy. <laughs> he's a big little idiot. Oh, so that's the kind of stuff you do. Yeah, I do all his sort of housekeeping stuff because he's a little idiot. And I'm, I'm sort of like his mommy. Got it. How, <laughs> how much does he pay you? He don't pay me shit. Why? Because I'm sick in the head. I'm crazy. I just like to have a good time. Oh, yeah. oh. Foggy, no. Foggy, no. What? Oh, I, well, I look. It looked like you were. My little paper, yeah. It's not that kind of show, Foggy. You do have beautiful blue eyes. For the audio <laughs> listener, Plonky's a little uh, uh, a puppet clown. What the? And, oh, sorry. You just pay word with me. Uh, what do you prefer? What's the proper nomenclature? I just keep puppets fine. <laughs> I don't know. What else would I be? I'm a bald and puppet. Things aren't good. So for the audio listener, picture a Chilean. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> Chilean first and foremost. Start there, then work your way out. And after a while, you get Plonky. <laughs> Plonky. You get Plonky. Well, have you talked to Phil? What, is he going to join us? Phil got canceled. <laughs> <Yay>! Oh, God. <laughs> but that's not good for me because I'm going to have to look after that sad, depressed man. <laughs> is he doing okay? Is he depressed? No, he's in the back room trying to, uh, trying to tie a noose, but he's a little boy who's an idiot. He never graduated Boy Scouts. He doesn't know how to tie a noose. Well, could you help him out? <laughs> I could probably figure out a way. I don't know if you should, Plunky. I keep saying, why don't you chuck a, 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 a toaster in the bathtub with you? And he's like, I don't have an extension cord. <laughs> he's such an idiot. He's such an idiot. <laughs> You're a pretty good dancer. Any idea when Phil's getting here? I He'll know he's be late. He'll about um, 10 minutes. Uh, somebody, <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit too long, isn't it? That's a bit too long. <laughs> Feels like we started ready. All right, well, I hear him coming. I gotta oh, go. Oh, great. Bye, Plunky. Bye, Plunky. Yeah, it's nice to Bye, meet you. everybody. <laughs> Plunk is going. I'm going to take the elevator. Bing. Oh, he got stuck. Looks like you got a little bit more Plunky time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Someone sucked me off down here. Plunky. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. Well, there he goes. There goes Plunky. And uh, anyway, that yeah, it's the spring equinox. We have, oops, I disconnected this. There we go. That's better. Spring, when's, oh. Oh, hey. Phil's here. <coughs> hey, Phil. How are you guys doing? We were oh, talking we were... to your little assistant guy that you're living. He is my assistant. Slave He's your assistant. Yeah. He's my assistant. Oh. Hey, he where's your hat? He just me with work and stuff like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> there he goes. Well, because Blanky made it seem like maybe you're not doing so hot. and. Uh... Uh, <laughs> Blanky <Blanky's> says <laughs> what I need him to say when i dictate emails to him work stuff the like he made it seem more like maybe you uh are falling to pieces and he's here to help you Plucky? like i would need a puppet to <laughs> sort of exist and uh take care of myself i don't really need it yeah we're so we're actually coming live from phil's apartment and it's very nice it seems like you've got your act together. inside of the i feel like it's tough to italian call italian it. american reservation <laughs> Camp, wanna give me a caca, uh, guinea pizza balls? Oh, my arm is killing me. From tennis last night. Yes. 
I'll tell you what. I pulled, yeah. I pulled my um, I pulled I pulled something in my back. I really? Last I night, pulled yeah. something in my back too. Playing softball. Wow. I joined a softball league. We're so old. Wow. With Waleed and Kenny, and oh, I th- I threw the ball very hard, and I I pulled my back. <laughs> I, we were playing against a cop team, and we won. Oh, you got damn! Him. That's yeah. pretty yeah. sick. We played against a cop did team. Did you guys say a cab or I smell bacon? No, but like I did that? flip off. Uh, when I I got a good hit, and I was running, flipping off the ball, and they thought that I was flipping off the pitcher. And it wasn't the case. Ooh, that's but, not going to be good. Yeah, they don't like that at all. But anyway, we we do have a, a quite a lot of shit for you guys today. Quite a lot of shit. Yeah. You, so you just got back from South by Southwest. I just got back from South by Southwest. It was a grand old time, <laughs> and uh, yeah, the music. You know, I went there with my little band. I'm yeah, a you went, rock and roll didn't band. they used to do it where it was like tech, then music, then film, or something like that? Now, now it's, it's more like stepped, where like there's a couple days spillover on okay. either side of it. Um, I went there for the film side like six or seven years ago, and it was like with fucking animals. boring. Yeah, with a, a cartoon, I used it was to boring. Make. It was kind of boring. It's like big conference rooms. It's like not really. I don't know. At the convention center. Or something? At the convention yeah, yeah, center yeah, yeah, yeah. in the downtown, and like everything's in the downtown. This was fucking like. Let me tell you, rock and roll is still very much so alive. Really? It was like party <laughs> fucking central. It was really nuts. Uh, saw the Black Keys, saw Dinosaur Jr., saw... Damn. Uh, we played a bunch of shows with Scowl, uh, End It, they were really good. Snooper was really good. A bunch of good, younger, Damn. smaller bands. It was super fun. I'm still winded from... From what? Puppeteering? Tennis last oh, night. Oh, tennis, tennis, tennis. <laughs> tennis, yes. <laughs> and you, but you- it was fucking fun, and it was like... The things that we would read about in like Vice and shit forever ago, it's like that is. There's a lot of Pepsi going around down there. Everyone's, Whoa. everyone's doing Pepsi. Everyone's drinking Pepsis, and uh, I don't think Ben's quit. I don't. I don't get it. Is that cocaine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because. Because <laughs> what? Coke. Oh Pepsi. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I I didn't get into that. I I'm just getting into the Zins. So I mean, I'm late to the game I'll do all around. Ones. Yeah, you want one? Thank you, my man. There, there are three, but Experiment. yeah, don't do this. Um, I still worry that like, is this going to cause oral cancer? Definitely. No, I think we'll be fine. I do want to say before I forget, a bunch of Ben and Emil fans came up to me at the last show oh, in that's Hotel sick. Vegas. It was so nice. And a, a, one guy came to like all three of our sets, which was really incredible. Cool. Damn. And they were super chill. And being in Austin and talking to people about you guys i don't know i was just like incredibly wow. warmed that's so I was sweet so hung over it was like the <laughs> oh, God. it was truly like seven days of drinking and it was just like in this weird fugue space but like i don't know it was very nice and they were all so sweet and i appreciate y'all coming out to that damn all yeah. right i was so hung over i was touching my i couldn't feel my face like I don't it know how like you did. He a was weird a weird dissociation <clears throat> was happening. He also hasn't mentioned that this entire time he was, uh, you were like staying in a flop house with the band. <laughs> yeah, sleeping. we got an Airbnb. You, you were sharing a bed with another Sharing friend. a bed. There wasn't any alone time. You were, so, you know, and as a writer, as my passion, I write for my job. I sell female furniture. <laughs> so <if> my, <laughs> when forget. I do my passion <laughs> project of writing, you're by yourself and yeah. you're like alone for so much. You spend a lot of time alone. I spend arguably. Remember that I got a wand. At, <laughs> <laughs> I went, uh, <laughs> tangent within a tangent. But one time uh, I was at Universal Studios back when my wife liked me and um you, I was getting a wand at the Harry Potter wand store, and they said, "What are some of the adjectives about you?" Or they asked me three questions. Do you remember what they were? It was uh, number one. Uh, do you like to be with people or be alone? I was like alone. And they're like, "Do you like to be more indoors or out, outdoors?" And I was like, "No, I like to be inside a lot more." And then, I think she asked you if you hold grudges, and you said yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> so I, was like, I like to be alone and stay inside, and I hold grudges. And then I got a wand from that. What the, do they like make it, or do they say bippity boppity boo shit to it, or something? Don't. First of all, I don't like the the, the anti magic language yeah. that you're throwing around. I was just at the magic castle last guy. night. Okay, what? so the I'm very magic castle I'm, last night. Yeah. For what? For for uh, wife's birthday. I took nice. her to the Magic Castle. Wow. There were a couple acts in? that were just like, I, I know a magician there. 
There were there were <laughs> yeah, just, no, just slowly anywhere. brushing you off. Don't saying. even don't even. Ask there me. were a couple <laughs> acts that were very lackluster. Yeah. But then there were some. We did some close up in in like these smaller intimate rooms, and they were so much better. They weren't on the program at all. They were just guys who walk around and they're like, "Hey, come in here," and yeah. you go in there, and they're, uh, oh man. Have you guys ever talked about the Magic Castle in here? Because I wonder if you should explain it a little bit. The Magic Castle is a club it's an institution. It's an in, institution in, in Los Hollywood. Angeles. Uh, there's one now in like Hermosa Beach, but it's not the the real one. The real one, you need to either be a. Me- I think anyone can be a member. You just have to pay. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but mm-hmm. uh, you're. I knew a guy that was a member. To get in, you either need to know somebody who's a member or know Is a it magician. Very expensive. Yeah, it's like it was like eh, it was like forty bucks for each of us and then you uh, that's not you good, though. but then you have to eat at the <laughs> restaurant good or is it not good? you have to eat He's at the restaurant you, you have to eat at the restaurant <laughs> and then the restaurant you have to each order one entree and they're at like fifty dollars minimum when and you then you're buying in, cocktails and you're shit. in a room that has magic stuff in yeah it in order to get happening. it in you're just in the 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 little lobby area and they're like okay Bam. thanks now turn around to that bookshelf and say open sesame yeah, yeah, yeah and then you say open sesame and it opens and there's like a ghost piano that i still don't know how it works you just say like hey play this and when we got in someone had asked the piano to play um uh we are the champions we will rock you by queen yeah which as you know is a song. Very percussive, yeah. boom, boom, clap, and it was playing the boom, boom, clap on the piano by just smashing some cool. bass keys, and it sounded like shit. Oh. It sounded so dissonant. It was just gong, 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 gong. You think it's a guy gong. on the other side? Yeah, there's a happen? tiny guy in there, or on the other side of the wall, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that would be miserable yeah. to just be on the other side the playing for thing? nobody. The you whole get a little night? quiet time. You just play by play play piano all night. I guess. And if you have an ear for songs and you know. A lot of songs you could do it. We figured it out. I'm it was impressed. It was fun though. And I'm I got forty bucks in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Forty bucks. Forty bucks. That's okay. Like- so South by Southwest was fucking sick. It was super fun. Uh, yeah. Driving across the country is always great. How long it's did it right take you there. to get there? Two days. But um, two fucking days. What'd you guys? That's say? constant driving. Well, dude, one day of driving, sleep somewhere, and then the next day you oh, drive most of the day. Then you're there. Yeah. Um, so the opposite way we did that, but like, you know, that's my, like driving through Arizona and New Mexico is so beautiful. It's oh like yeah. Crazy down there. And we went really South on the way back up where literally the border was right there. I don't know. It's just like my, kind of my favorite part of America. Anytime I do a cross country trip or something like it's that. It's really nice. All I of a sudden you're it. like, cool. I'm in a Mario Kart. Fucking right. Yeah. Level. <clears throat> when I first did it, I remember going through it driving through it and being like this is the this is like the southwest section of six flags great adventure yeah. where we grew up and i was like how weird is that that that's it's like, what I, i'm more <clears throat> bombed onto the pastiche of like the well, real thing i get exists. really bummed about it because that and plus like going to disney world or disneyland um i went to that stuff first as a child yeah and now when i go out on like you know and do big adventure stuff in national parks or whatever you're like fuck disney like kind of got it right (laughs) and now every time i'm out in nature i'm like it looks like fucking disneyland (laughs) yeah those imagineers know their shit it's It's so annoying you'll be like next to this boulder you're like oh my god this thing's millions of years old yeah it looks like fucking disneyland i know i can't get a churro out here (laughs) yeah someone (laughs) get some games someone just spread their relatives ashes on some uh star wars ride Ooh, and they had to shut brother. it down and like mop it all up. And there's a picture of just like mopped up looking <laughs> ashes. God. That's awful. By insane. the way, I know that this is really annoying when people do this, but last night I had a very deeply upsetting, vivid dream that I murdered two people. Holy That's shit. Pretty sick. And that I was on the run and I was like going to just take a whole, I, I had to rush home. My I had to rush home to to beat my mom home. Cause she was like going to turn me into the cops. She was like, you need to be held responsible. (laughs) And I was, I I was somehow in Las Vegas where the murders happened. I don't remember who I (laughs) murdered or how, but I just remember being like, well, fuck my life is fucked. And the cops were looking for me and I was barefoot and my cell phone didn't have any battery. And I was just like, I'm homeless and on the run. I was so stressed out. No, but like in in life. life, Oh, uh, moderately. Did you kill somebody in life? No, that would do it. No, I don't think so. Huh. I do wonder about what kind of uh, uh, maybe it's the forty dollars you shelled out. Yeah, feeling pretty bad. I, I, forty dollars each. That financial burden on me. Eighty dollars down the drain. 
But Ooh. so, and then I tipped too. I, I don't even know why I tipped. The girl why just like the girl. The, the girl was like, <laughs> "Here you go," and I and there was a tip line. But either way, I I I rushed home and I got a bottle of Xanax that I had because I was like, "Well, I'm not going to jail. I'm gonna fucking eat this oh, whole this bottle." Is a dream. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. eat this whole bottle of Xanax and, and die? kill myself, Gee, dude, oh, so that I don't have to go shit. to prison. And then I I I ran across the street, just beat my this mom was home last night. Yes. It was so upsetting, you did and it so was, much last night. It was like <laughs> didn't do anything. it was in real time, and I was just oh man. And when I woke that's up, tough, it was the best. Yeah. Whew. Oh, yeah, dude, that's yeah. the best. I love oh, that. no jail or death for me. Dreams when it's not real, yeah. it's so it feels. It's just waking worth. up and being like, oh, I don't have to deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Incredible. Dude, yeah. Wait, so I wanted to share this. Uh, Wait, can I tell a dream real yes, quick? Yes, yes. Tell me a one? dream. Tell me a dream. The, I'm only bringing it up because of what your mom did in your dream. I had a dream once that um, the fucking MLK we'd all episode. live in peace together. <laughs> Ever, my entire family was walking towards me and I was walking away from them and there was an ambulance behind them and my entire family all very calmly were going, Phil, you're crazy. You got to come with us. You got to get in the ambulance. Ooh. Phil. But like really like you're, it's okay. You're crazy. You have to come with us. You have to get in the Ugh. ambulance. Imagine waking up to that, like the betrayal of every single person you know. Awful. I, the speaking of the argument. That's arg not good. That's not a, that's not a good. Are you guys both okay? I'm, I'm fine. Mine was years ago, and I was not. <laughs> I I get these vivid dreams when I am smoking a lot of pot, and then I stop smoking, and that's what I've been doing. I've been smoking a lot of pot the last couple of weeks, and then I didn't Literally the last, last couple nights. The last time nights. you said you're not smoking weed. I know, but a lot has changed in the last two weeks. <laughs> we got to catch up meatballs more. But I also haven't seen you guys in fucking so long since... Basically, the last episode. I don't know. Yeah, what a month ago. Happened. Oh yeah, and then we've both been out of town. And then I guess. and then you guys came over. Real fast though, have you ever had those argument dreams where you wake up to pee and you're like, God damn, I want to get back in the dream and finish the argument because <laughs> I've no, definitely had that. I, I had him up against the ropes. So I, <laughs> I was I was like, I gotta get back in there and finish this off. Jesus. But okay, Wait, I I have this thing from Reddit. Uh, um, can I tell a dream? Yeah, go yeah. Ahead. Do you no, have I don't, I don't you don't have a crazy one? Do you uh, dream? I don't remember. Everyone dreams. I don't remember right. them that much. Okay. Um, uh, but you have aspirations in life. Right? Sure. I I had one. Ri I'm not telling it. It's too okay, long. Fair, fair. All right. I, got I did this watch this movie last night. What movie? Called All of Us Strangers. Hmm. Sounds like one of them Oscar movies that I didn't see. Well, no. Well, that was the thing. So I tweaked Tripping my, and falling. I tweaked my back. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> like I, I couldn't fucking move by the time I got home. And so I just like, really? and Sarah was gone. So I, I ordered food and just like grabbed an ice pack and like laid down and like, and I just wanted to watch Curb Your Enthusiasm and uh, HBO wouldn't load. So I Googled on my phone, like, is, is Max down? And it was like, yep, Max is down. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. That's so right I just here. opened Hulu <laughs> and the first movie up, it was, I had never heard of it. All of the strangers, it was Paul Mescal and fucking Andrew oh, Scott. That. And I was like, holy shit, I've never heard about this. These guys are huge. This movie must be good. Awful. All right, who's on? No. Who's on your? It's just like he's he's he's, and then Sarah came home. She's like, "Is this good?" I was like, "No, he just keeps going to see his dead parents. I don't Jesus. know what's happening." Who's on your? Uh, who's on your? Um, uh, like gay pass. For me, I think Paul Mescal would be one, and then Lee oh. Pace. Lee Pace oh, for yeah, me. Oh, that was mine. <laughs> Are you Truly, serious? Yeah. Lee Pace, really? I was about to tap you because we were big. Uh, Daisies pushing, pushing, oh, daisies. pushing, yeah. pushing daisies. daisies. Oh God! So what even a... back then, before he started popping his shirt off, yeah, yeah, yeah. working out, he's like I six foot five too. Yeah. Just a huge snack. Just yeah, a, a meal, really a meal. Mm. Anyway, like okay, I got this. I got this thing here. <laughs> okay, who's this? Who's this? <laughs> Lee, Oscar Isaac. Oh, oh yeah, sure. Damn, you like him furry, huh? <laughs> Interesting, dude. Interesting. I get it. I like him. In circa what? What movie? Um, the divorce movie. Oh, sexy! I didn't see it, Remember but I know they were on the thing and he like, kissed her arm. I didn't see it, but Just I know about. Oh it. yeah, <laughs> which like I'm pretty sure he's married. Disgusting. Yeah, yeah. weird In vibe. I'd be insane. <laughs> right here on someone. True, so truly, gentle. it's like we have to have a conversation. What, what are you doing? Uh, what movie? What's the hottest Oscar Isaac movie? Um, Dune, the Dune is pretty special. good. Annihilation when he when he comes Ooh, back all yeah. fucked up from because uh, he's in the, he's like an alien. But also yeah. Ex Machina. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, good. oh I mean, truly, still one of my favorite lines of all time is when um when Damal Gleason says he goes into the room when he's got the music playing loud with the with the robots and um he goes 
you tore up her picture. And he just goes, yeah, I'm about to tear up the fucking dance floor, dude. Oh, and, it just, and he just goes into it. It's so good. I think I'll smoke weed and watch that tonight. What do you think about uh, Civil War? How do you think that's going to be? I think it's going to be good. People were yeah. ragging on it. It'd I'm like, fun. I think it looks so think it looks scary and fun. Yeah, it looks very yeah. fun. I think it's kind of purgy, which I really, that's like my favorite shit. Go wait, ahead, Ben. Wait, 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 speaking of movies, sorry. I, I, I'm going to wait till this because this is yes, a, yes, yes. Uh, we're, we're on a good, we're, we're squirming. A mutual friend of Dylan's and I just made a post. He doesn't watch this, so it doesn't matter. But a, a mutual no, friend of ours matters. has been, he, he really, really, and I agree with him 95%. He really hates AI and hates any use of right. AI in anything. Oh, are you right. talking about that new movie? Everyone's yes. like boycott this movie. Yes. They used AI. In but they used places. it like three years ago. Three years is ago. Is my understanding. And for three small second things. And they had their they whole like weird they had their whole gra- graphics design department in on it too. So it's not like anyone lost work or anything like that. Yeah. It was all on the up and up internally for them. I don't like this where how the big I mean, obviously, we're in this weird swing that's about to happen. Yeah. So unfortunately, this movie that looks really good and really cool and weird um, is getting a lot of blowback for honestly some bullshit. I saw and this. I, it feels like some bullshit. And I was like, truly, who fucking cares? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> uh, what is the cons- amount of people that do? such good work and and like just <clears throat> imagine being a set dresser on that and you're well like, that was the thing i saw someone being like there's so many people who worked on this movie and you guys are trying to like trash have it them for, not wa- have yeah. them take money out of uh, those people's yeah. mouths it's not like they got back end on it but plus yeah. that actor Get has back been back end to the, the set, set people, people. Who, <laughs> set Dexney back end. who's the actor who's the main guy uh, this is like his first his name but he's great he's so like, great and it's like great. his first thing mm-hmm. let him fuck come on yeah. let him fuck that dude is awesome and it's you know what it, it's a live broadcast of it's a horror movie but it's a live broadcast of a 1970s talk show that's a great idea and it's they bring on this girl who previously had an exorcism and then it goes crazy. Mm-hmm. Like that's how amazing. great yeah, is that? So you want to see it? Yeah. <clears throat> so stinks. Um, stinks. Obviously. <laughs> Open AI <laughs> reaction stinks. Open movie AI has great. a they they've got a bunch of meetings <laughs> lined up with some movie studios. That that I don't like. Yeah. Because that means the movie studios are like, so how can you help us? How can we make? But th- Wait, th- that's the thing. Got a, who's got a Open meeting? AI does. I I know visual effects artists who have been using yes. they've been using AI they for years to help AI. well these visual effects artists have been using AI to make scripts that would otherwise take them hours yeah. like cuz they've got to use a lot of math they've got to use a lot of coding and they've been saying like it's been making my life so much easier I don't I know think about compositing like tracking with someone and having you know if if I needed my head on fire to track with it now we can use AI to do the manual labor of A to Z to get to sort of things. I don't know. It's like, obviously that's very different than creating a graphic from mm-hmm. nowhere. Uh, yeah, it's, we're in a very prickly transition period. And I think it's, this is just, I saw the things. graphic and I honestly had people not mentioned. I wouldn't have known that it was. Yeah, of course. I would have had no idea. Yeah, so fucking good and crazy, but they also did a lot to it. So it's not like they just, put in spooky skeletons and use the first take whoa like, there's spooky skeletons in this yeah, movie yeah it's pretty scary all right wait is it really spooky skeletons uh, yeah yeah that's what, like what one of the graphics it's like a title card got it yeah okay it's like a it looks kind of cool skeletons yeah okay because yeah. they did a lot of stuff to it they gave it a lot of treatment okay i got this thing <laughs> speaking of spooky wait, stuff one more thing before god damn <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> okay this guy this guy created this thread it's too good not to share he suspected his girlfriend of Reddit. time travel. Yes. Wait, actually, can, actually, no. What? What? What, <laughs> what subreddit is it? It's off uh, my it's off my chest. Beautiful. My and he, wait, but he I goes, was on Reddit this morning. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> and someone, the, this is the worst. That it just never click something like this. It literally said, uh, it said, "What were some benign symptoms you had that turned out to be something serious?" Oh, sure. And right off the bat, I'm like, Emil, don't click it. Don't click it. You know, don't, don't click and it. And I'm like, well, let me just scroll through a few. Like, and literally, first one, I'm like, oh, I'm back fucked. pain, back tumor. I don't know if you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you remember. Yeah. Back I don't pain. know if you remember. It was literally a couple weeks ago on either the main or the bonus. I was like, God, my eyebrow won't stop twitching. And oh. it literally was the guy was like, uh, I had some weird f- face twitch. Not even weird. I just had some face twitching thought nothing of it and like sometimes it was my eyebrow and just and then 
it turned out I had MS and I was just like, I was just going to guess multiple scores. And I was like, why did I click this? And yeah. I truly, I was like, I can't scroll anymore. I have to get off this fucking thing. Just ruin my morning. When my I does that a lot. Too. Well, that's, there was, Stress. there was replies that was, cause it was freaking everyone out and people were like, okay, but it's also common if you're just like stressed or right. tired or whatever. But, uh, there's a guy on TikTok who. Be careful with those. You there's gotta, a young man on TikTok who's got bowel cancer, and oh, he's been brother. posting about, oh, these are all the symptoms that I wish I'd been paying attention to, and one of them is like, a uh, narrower shaped poops, and I'm nah, like, don't damn, tell me, I can't. I got little snaky poops sometimes lately, but is that due to diet? Plus, I had the whole hemorrhoid thing going on. Is, what doo doo diet? Is that doo doo <laughs> diet? Is that doo doo diet? Oh, doo doo diet. diet. Ah, Dylan said doo doo diet. He's not on the mic, but you. <laughs> Dylan's a little scam. Oh yeah. You guys by the way, call it out yet? Or? Everybody with the Drigsby <laughs> thing, you got us. Okay. And right now we'll play the footage because I... maybe they maybe they giving him that. Yeah, it's <laughs> someone put Dizgby. So now they're ripping on Drigsby. Drizgus Bussy. Uh, I think it's because you, Dylan, said nobody even notices me. I'm a ghost. <laughs> Why, what does that have to do with Brixby? I don't know. Maybe they've nicknamed you Drixby. I think we have two angles of it. Dylan let me in about five minutes before you guys figured oh, it out. Oh, my God. So I filmed you guys a little bit. Drigsby. They love that. I've known that they're going, and they're quoting Drigsby. <laughs> but, but why are they quoting Drigsby? And if you don't know. <laughs> Check the Reddit. I don't know. If you guys. You guys, the fucking fan base, <laughs> these guys were geeked out of their mind. Yeah, we really didn't know. I screenshotted it and posted it on Twitter and was like, what is Drigsby? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this guy suspected his girlfriend of being a time traveler. And I'm just going <laughs> to, so he said he's 26. He met his girlfriend who's 22, three years ago. Uh, she was kind of odd for certain reasons. And he's he, 26, tw she's 22. Yes. And he lays out these reasons. He said, uh, when we first got together, she told me she was polyamorous, not interested in sex. Uh, and then polyamorous so, and, and not <laughs> interested in sex. Yeah. Which is what very is strange. Mm, I love, uh, all different types of meat and I'm vegan. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. So she doesn't go into detail. She doesn't talk about her family. She's from the rural Appalachian part of Georgia. That's all I know. She won't go into detail. It always takes her five to 10 seconds to remember her birthday. And she can never remember if the month or the day is meant to come first. She's always changing her accent depending on who she's talking to. She says her brain does this automatically, but her sentence structure is weird. Sometimes she uses British slang uh, and, and says like, how do you mean instead of what do you mean? She says can I instead of can't. That's mm. I do that a lot. Um, she yeah, watches, but ironically. Yeah, she, she watches Shakespeare. She literally talks like Shakespeare for an hour after. She what only has watches a, Shakespeare. I don't, I don't know. She watches a Shakespeare movie. Yeah, what the fuck? Good question. She only has an accent. She you only. Know when you're flicking through Hulu. Yeah. Oh, Orthello tonight, babe? She has a southern accent in the mornings. She doesn't wear modern clothes. She wears corsets and slips instead of bras and stuff. Uh, and then she also wears men's clothing a lot. I don't know That's what this fine. has to that do. That doesn't make you a time yeah. traveler. When we watch historical movies, okay. she's, she's like, always... I remember this fondly. Ah, <laughs> it didn't happen like that. <laughs> That's exactly what she's... She's always pointing out flaws of the accuracy, but it's not But it's not big historical events. It's stuff like metal wouldn't have been used until X, this X she's year. She's smart. <laughs> She yeah, like, he sounds like that's, a fucking idiot. That's not how Christmas was celebrated back then. The, the cutlery is inaccurate for the time. She's too old to have her hair down, things like that. And then he goes on. She doesn't shave. Don't get me wrong. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, but good. she said uh, she claims that it's a modern shaving is a modern invention uh, and, and working women with lice used to used to not shave something like that. What? Uh, obviously, she's Every really time I've owned her team. She loses me. Uh, obviously, she's really into history. But when I ask her where she gets her information, she can never give me the sources. Just I don't remember. This guy right? sounds like a lot, too. It's like, well, yeah, sure. Where do you get your information? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, she, back off. <laughs> she gets irritated at things on the Internet and talks about how much better the old web was. And then when I ask her what she means by that, she said before 2010. But I'm like, wouldn't you have been eight right. in 2010? Yeah, just, and then yeah, she says, know. oh, yeah, I guess I was pretty young. Uh, even though she's always calling out inaccuracy in media, she makes no attempt to be accurate herself. Like she mixes up all the eras. I called uh, one of her outfits medieval and she listed every item she wore and what century, decade, even down to the exact year. When I called her born in the wrong time, she was very against it. She said <laughs> she doesn't feel like she missed out on any of the eras. 
uh, da, da, da. She, uh, he says, she jokingly said one time, I've lived through the year 2012 three times too many. <laughs> like, what wow. the fuck is that? She said it was a joke, but I didn't really understand. By the way, this post is huge. So I know, also, I'm, I'm really skipping through it. The rest it. of the episode. Uh, she struggles to use TV. Sometimes the remotes and buttons confuse her. She I kind of like her. I want a, tra- I want a time-traveling girlfriend. She has, a, really she has cool. a bunch yeah. of vintage USSR and American space pins. These are just... Okay, that's sick. <laughs> I introduced her to a doctor who jokingly asked if she was a time traveler. And she said something like, I've never understood the appeal of time travel. <laughs> what? So... <laughs> Uh, okay. He introduced her to a doc. Hey, come meet my buddy over here. This guy is fucking scary. <laughs> this part's really <laughs> funny. <laughs> information. Hey, talk to one of my buddies over here in a white lab coat. So he says, <laughs> probably the weirdest thing. She's five foot five and at That's not and, that weird. And lo- <laughs> wait, she's five foot five and looks skinny, but probably weighs like one fifty to one seventy five. That's just an estimate from. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Wait, wait, wait. That's just an estimate from when I pick her up. When I when I when I comment on this, she says she has dense bones. What does that mean? She looks slightly underweight, if anything. So why is she technically overweight? Okay, let's okay. pause real quick. Okay, what? Him picking up his girlfriend and going. What's that about? 150, 160? <laughs> no. What's that? Like? 150 or 175? That's a huge. 175. What a nut! So then he said, "Update. I decided, <laughs> I decided to just accuse her of time travel. I literally just called her, and I opened with, I know you're a time traveler.' <laughs> she laughed and asked, what the fuck I was talking about? And uh, she said, uh, he asked if she was lying about her age. She got serious and asked me to come over because she didn't want to talk on the phone. Obviously, oh part of me was hoping she was going to reveal that she was a time travel <laughs> traveler. Spoiler, she is not a time traveler. <laughs> she did tell him that she's been lying about her age. Remember, we thought she was 22? Yeah. How she's old is 28. She? Weird. Yes. Uh, she regrets uh, lying. Um, she's embarrassed to tell me because she lied about like when she went to college and stuff. She asked me what brought upon the suspicion, and I showed her this post. She laughed. He's like, for like your bone density. <laughs> she laughed for like ten minutes and thinks it's very funny that my first thought was time travel. Uh, <laughs> and she said, basically, basically everybody in the post said your girlfriend sounds like she's autistic. Yeah, and that's is. what it ended up being. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. All right. So the uh the TLDR is um I suspected my girlfriend of time travel. Turns out she's autistic and was lying about her age. <laughs> <laughs> That's really quite beautiful. Good. But w- did we get to the bottom of why she feels so heavy? The why bone he so said heavy? he said the Probably bone density shillings in her pockets. <laughs> It's probably related to her intersex. Um, oh, what? As for the twenty, place. as for the twenty twelve thing, it was just a really traumatic year for her. Oh. <laughs> she relives it a lot in her dreams. Uh, Holy shit! That's really beautiful. Yeah, <clears throat> I um, we had a friend in our friend group <laughs> that lied about her age for a while. When I first moved to LA, I was like 24, 25, 26, hanging out with this one group of people. And this one chick was sort of on the outskirts, but we'd see her, I don't know, bi-weekly, something like that. And twice a week time, or tw- once every two weeks? Actually, they are both correct. I know. Uh, uh, so I, I know, know but the se- <laughs> I mean the second one. Once every two weeks. I know. It's nuts. Because at first I was like, twice a week? That's good. Man, this zin got me buzzing, by yeah, the way. I feel good, dude. <laughs> I feel like, fucking shit. I'm not going to lie, dude. I'm not going to lie. I feel fucking good right now. God. Is it? Emil, mean, take a zin. No, I can't get addicted yeah, no, to nicotine. No, truly, it's not good. Okay, I'm, go on. I'm so this person was lying about she her was age. She 40. Which Whoa. doesn't matter, but like thinking, you know, she's like 25, 26, 27, like us, like we were all were, and she was 40 years old. Whoa, she was pretending wow. to be 15 years younger? Yeah. She must have looked good. She must have looked really good. Yeah. She, Do she I must have looked really good. Mm, I don't think you met her. No. Guys, I got to pee. I'm sorry, but I have to. Crazy you know, unprofessional. Uh-uh. To edit this, out. this is just what makes a podcast. Pop. This is what makes a podcast. Wait, pod so when pop. you guys. Uh, when you guys found out you were 40, you were like, you can't be friends with us anymore? By that time, I got in a really bad relationship, and I wasn't friends with anybody anymore. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You know how life can go. Yeah. You get in a bad relationship, you stop hanging out with people. You who, stop hanging out with you people. You say, I think these people might tell me that uh, the woman I love <laughs> is bad for me, so I just, I, I'm going to stop hanging out yep. with them. <laughs> yep. Yep. 
Yep, that's what happens. And unfortunately, you lived in New York. So <laughs> yeah. this is what happens for a couple of years. Then you get out here and I go, hold on a second. <laughs> I think, I, think I might have to reevaluate. <laughs> Emil's here. This feels different. <laughs> With someone who loves me, this feels very different. <laughs> oh, that's what that is. That's a good feeling. Yeah, I've had that relationship where I'm just like, I'm just not going to tell anyone what she does to me. Because I, I feel like they might be like, you shouldn't let her do that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Then, nah, for sure. Been there, done that. And the best part is it keeps happening. <laughs> I'm looking at our, our list of stuff, and I'm doing exactly what you told us to do. Wait, we got we to talk about Kate Middleton and the cancer and the cancer I point. actually don't know what happened. Okay, so Kate Middleton was gone. But it does sound like it's maybe not as nearly as fun as people thought it was. It's, uh, yeah, there were a bunch of conspiracy theories that she was dead or that she Which had... Which also, I heard if it's just something normal, everyone's so awful that this woman was maybe dealing of with course. something private, and they were just like, okay, here's the tea. Right. She's... Fucking someone else. Prince Harry beat her up is what I what Jesus. a thing I had heard on a different podcast. Jesus Christ. So let's go spread some. Or more like she rumors. got a Brazilian butt lift. Yeah, there, that, that was another thing. Cause oh, th- th- she's she got an abdominal thing. AI. Well, so what's fascinating to me, well, not fascinating necessarily, but uh, th- I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but in the crypto world, there's a, a coin called Solana. <clears throat> you and, sent us a coin the other day. What was it? Yeah, I did. I'm going to tell you. So on the crypt on the Solana blockchain, <laughs> you can create meme coins. Anybody can just mint these new Wait, coins. What, so with some of the coins, I, I'll mean, tell you. Yeah. I will tell you. But so I'm I'm leading up to it. So and I have to be very delicate. But there, uh, the whole idea is to make it meme enough to convince to make people go, oh, that's funny. I got to buy that. And it went off the rails this last week. And there were a bunch of, I don't know, how do I even say this? They, they were N, N-word, but with the A. Right. And, and there was like N-word, uh-uh. but, and N-word something. And, and there was like, and there's one guy laughing about it because he's got this portfolio full of just the various like. And just making so much money off of it? Oh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So how'd you make your buck? <laughs> well, well, I'll tell you. And there was, you Let know. Let me open that, up my wallet. For you, you know, you guys remember the meme of that like intense looking bald guy? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's like my black accountant when when he asks how I made all my crypto money, like what coins I made. But uh, so then, just like yesterday, they transitioned from uh, the the black ones to like Jew ones. So it was all like Jesus. there's like K word coin, no, and like way. Jews did nine eleven coin, and then there's Jews one, did nine eleven. Yes, coin. and then there's one that's straight up well, just I have a, one of those actual coins. <laughs> there's but I don't have. <laughs> The digital. Well, that's version. a collector's item. There was that's one. A there was a Nazi coin that was just the full on swastika, and people are buying it. And then now it's getting so out of hand that if anything happens in the real world, someone rushes to make a meme coin for it in hopes that they'll strike it rich. But oh how my long? God, does I know the, where this is going. So they made a it? Kate Middleton cancer coin. Jesus. Holy shit. And it's but doing really it's well. It's probably already Unlike doing well. Unlike her, that's doing really well. Which is, not it's well. now graduated to oh, like. Wait, so she has cancer. Yes. That's why she's been gone. That was the thing. She made wow. an announcement. So people, she's on video saying, "I'm really great. You know, thank you for everybody for your concern about me. And the reason why I've been gone is I've been dealing with, uh, I think, stomach cancer or something. Oh God. So everyone yeah. going so sure. crazy and forcing her to like Photoshop a picture. This woman just wanted to deal with her cancer. God, yeah. that's actually really sad now that you think oh, about it's so it. Oh, so sad. Like, she it's was like, can't off- we just Photoshop a picture together? So we could just get them off my back yeah. while I deal with stomach cancer? Oh, brother. Yeah. I, lo- I got, By the way, you were, did you just flinch because I touched you? No, no, I'm, I'm just adjusting. Because remember I was trying to give you a birthday gift or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just like, what did I do to you like six years ago? Nothing. But you look like Tom Sawyer. It's very cute. Oh, oh thank yeah. you. Like your little shoes in the hat. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, can I interest you in painting a fence? Jim? <laughs> What's my name? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, oh geez, Louise. Wait, wait. But so my question is, how long do these like, <clears throat> how long do you coins? have to get in before it just all collapses? Because I can't imagine it, that like it, it, it can be it can be a few coins, minutes, it can be hours, it it can be days. But so you have to get you in and out. Buy it in silver. Well, That's and what I have. and then there's a bunch of people who who there's probably several Kate Middleton cancer coins. It's just you, you got to get the right one. You got to hope that you're picking the right one, but. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. As th- I'm sure that like there was just this 
terrible shooting in Russia. I'm sure someone is making a meme coin about that. And it's like now when things happen, people rush to make a meme coin associated with it. Yeah, we're and back. And you're kind of like buying the. We're back. Oh, it's 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 back. it's Crypto's fucking so wild, back. man. Fucking go. It's crazy. Okay, so speaking of money, we, we got to talk about the the Shohei Otani sexy talk, man. Yeah, I would fuck this guy too. You like him? I like, like him. him. Yeah. You're not so I want to pinch his really chubby cheeks. He's kind of yeah. He's kind of doughy. He's so doughy. I want like an angular. Baseball player wise, you're more of like an Aaron Judge. You ever see Aaron Judge? Oh yeah, the he's guy the he's Yankees. huge. You'd like him a lot. Oh, you'd like him so much. He's got Can that Madonna gap Judge? tooth. I do like a gap tooth. He's got a big gap Dude, tooth. A gap tooth. Nice. He's uh, I like a skew. Damn. I need something askew. Yeah. He's six foot seven. Dude, you should see. He's a gigantic. He was catching a ball in the outfield and he ran through a door, Sick. like a locked door. There he is. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't know what Aaron Judge looks like. I'd like man. him to run through my door. Oh, jeez. Right, I keep door. unplugging He's this. He's a fucking Christ. bad guy walking into a saloon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <You> know? <laughs> but so a bunch of shit's been happening. <laughs> it's it's pretty clear that Shohei Otani might have been actually uh, Hold on, part of it. Let's go. That is new? That That's that's my understanding Dude, of it. That's... Because, <clears throat> okay, so, it, so basically this baseball player, Shohei Otani, just signed from the Angels to the Dodgers on like a 10 million or 10 year Seven hundred yeah. million dollar contract. Almost he doesn't million. speak English. He's got this translator who's been with him since twenty thirteen. He's got the sickest job in the world. He's he got makes, the coolest job makes in the world. Between three hundred thousand dollars and five hundred thousand dollars. He chills in the dugout throughout the whole game because he's, he's got to be there. Getting half a million dollars a year to be show his best friend. Yes, exactly. They became best, and, and they became best. Friends. And to be like every now and then, like oh, they're saying blah blah blah, and they're like oh okay. Cool. Is it okay? So if he's because at first I was really sad because it was like if you. If we were somehow attached at the hip, and you stole a bunch of money from me, that no, would I wouldn't do break, that. I, no, I appreciate that. I, I wouldn't pre- do that. You know, it's easy to do to me, though. You know, it's happened to me before. <laughs> I took a dollar from my mom's wallet one time, and I cried because I was so guilty. Yeah, Damn, you, that's you really I can't do it, man. I that's can't. Really I can't steal. No, nah, I don't think I've ever. I mean, I've stolen from some stores, KB Toys. Every single tech deck I used I to ever shoplift. Had, I, I used to shoplift a lot. How the fuck do you? I, I the fear of consequences keeps me from doing anything illegal like that, except for like smoking weed and driving and taking acid internationally and shit True. like that. I smoked a joint in the Madrid airport one time. Why in, in the, the airport? airport? In the airport, I had I had some leftover uh, hash that I had bought. What, dude? That is like. And That's I got to the airport. Locked up in some Italian yeah, prison. I didn't want to waste. Spain. I didn't oh, want to. Madrid. And I, for some reason, I heard Rome. And then I, I confessed about it on the radio to Danny Bonaducci. He, was, Danny Bonaducci. Danny Bonaducci, the guy from fucking. Yes. Yeah. So here, I'll tell the, the story. The Partridge Family. <laughs> I or had this hash that I bought. I was Brady like, Bunch? yes. He was a radio personality here in Los family. Angeles. Oh. Danny Bonaducci, the redhead guy. Yeah. Partridge. Like Yoked now. Little, got a really yeah, deep voice. Yoked. I'll tell you, I'll give him a fast pass to my back uh, track. <laughs> <laughs> I bought hash. I bought hash. We still on that topic? Are we moving on? <laughs> I still had some left over, and I didn't want to take it on the plane. I didn't want to throw it away, and I had cigarettes, and I was like, fuck it. So I opened up my suitcase and I just like down in there. Nobody knew what I was doing. I mixed in, mixed in some tobacco and I made a little spliff. And I was like, well, I got to smoke this somewhere. So I went into the. <laughs> well, oh. I have to smoke this somewhere. <laughs> I was 19. I went into the smoking area oh, of the airport. Oh, this makes a lot more sense. Yeah. You went into the like the smoking area with okay, a right, spliff right, right, right. that had weed in it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I smoked it. I thought it. you were just like in the terminal. just. Like, oh, fuck no. That'd be th- that I would be stupid. Bathroom, I was thinking like. I but then, like six months later, I'm back in LA. Tube with the fabric softener at the end. The fucking what are those called? Yes, yeah, sploofs. A boof. A boofer. But I was back in Los Angeles. I was listening to talk radio. Boofing. Bonaduce blows uh, <laughs> ecstasy up your butt. That's boofing. Jesus Christ. It is. And he was doing a segment on like, what's the most illegal thing you've ever done? And I called in because nobody would call into his show. It was from two to three p.m. And I said, oh, yeah, I, I use my name. I'm Ben from Long Beach. And uh, I was like, yeah, I smoked a spliff in the airport. And my one of my mom's coworkers heard it. Holy shit. And he told my mom and my mom, he, he thought it was funny. And then my mom was like, did you smoke drugs in the airport? And I was like, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you become a radio guy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so, so Shohei Otani's translator got busted for all this illegal gambling. And at first, he said, oh, yeah, Shohei was covering my right. debts. Yes. I and heard even that. if that's the case, apparently, him being party to him providing the funds for illegal gambling is tantamount to money laundering. And it could get him in big trouble. So I think they figured out, I think they realized that because then the guy backtracked and said, said Shohei stolen. didn't know anything. He didn't know anything. It was I, stolen, yeah. I, it was stolen. <clears throat> Which begs the question, how the fuck do you not realize that four and a half million dollars of yours has been stolen? And also, why would this guy have access to his bank accounts? He likely didn't. Either Shohei was placing bets with this guy or he really did bail him out and now he could be in trouble. And it's it's pretty wild. They were never betting on baseball. Let they the, were betting the on international soccer, the NFL, college football, the NBA, but not baseball. Interesting. Yeah. You'd be surprised, though. I've had some light identity theft thing happen to me, and uh, things go out the window. Yeah, you just you uh, blow through a lot of red flags? Yep. I think I might be getting identity <laughs> thefted. <laughs> this is what love is. <laughs> I had a I had a stranger reach out to me on Instagram and um, I was gonna say why are you on Instagram right now? Ben? And and uh, it's a stranger and I am not one to not take bait, so I took the bait. And um, she's just this random person doesn't even follow me. She said, "I see glory and blessings in you, and you are destined for greatness directly right. from birth. I have an important message for you, but I will need your honest permission to proceed because your ancestors have been trying to reach you by revealing some signs to you, maybe through your dreams or the repeated numbers that you normally see: two, 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 four, 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 one, 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 three, three. Yeah, Do around you your numbers? environment. I also th- see your throat and sacral energy blocked." So kindly reply to me once you get this message with a picture of your right hand palm, my dear, if you want to know the message I have for you. Namaste. So I sent a picture of my palm. There you go. And <laughs> I'm like, what's the harm that could come from this? Oh, God, there's more. Well, and she said, greetings, blessing, peace, love, and light will be with you always, my dear. I'm Priestess Susan from Sheka Temple, LA, an ordained priestess who has served Sheka Temple for eight years. I don't follow people if I'm not sent or directed by you and your by your ancestors to connect you with my love. They've got you've got an amazing energy filled with light. I'm taking your readings. <laughs> and then she said, I see that you are a very intelligent person. True. Full of wisdom. True. True. <laughs> you've gone through a lot in life, but it has made you stronger, a leader and a healer. Mm. Your solar plexus, I think that's the ass chakra. No, I think this is Oh, that one? Plexus. Oh, shit. Your solar plexus <laughs> is one of your strongest chakras as well. I picked up strong bear and cheetah for your animal guides Kinda looking sick. at your picture. So you are protective of your loved ones. She did this for... For free. Well, wait. <laughs> Nothing stands in your way. You're a blessing to mankind. Fucking true. <laughs> Just like... Just like a sea, you snatch from the water surface and rob your chief competitor, the osprey. <laughs> I see in your cards possible travels. I am going to Hawaii next week. Exotic exotic life and a comfortable ending. Fuck yeah. Nice. This could, however, be physically manifested or spiritually inclined. I see you have missed out on blessings. Fucking A. And ordinarily should have been yours. I believe this is a manifestation of the negative energy in your bloodline. But not to worry. The energy will be cleared. And then she sent a uh, an emoji of a cheetah. And she said, you thrive off of communication, travel, and it makes you thrive. You have a deep thirst for knowledge. Uh, this well, chick is just blasting You have off. an air yeah, of... Yeah, yeah. Mi- yeah, but like- then she said, you have an air of mystery. You only show others what you want them to see. I can see something terrible in your path. And oh, then a little, a little cry face emoji. And she I wrote... She said one, one thing specific. I wrote, uh-oh, what's going the on? Osprey. True. The osprey of it all. I said, uh-oh, what's going on? And then she said, someone sent you an attack. Wait, but let your, me see. But your ancestors and the universe... Got you covered because you've been so good to the people around you. You've got to be very careful and mindful with the people you shared your thoughts. Yeah, yeah. And then I I said, what the hell? Who attacked me? (laughs) She (laughs) said, be careful, my dear. And then she said, I have prayed and meditated on your energy. And a lot was revealed positively. And then she sent me this video. (gasps) Dude. Dude. Hell yeah. She lit candles for me and has a picture of my palm. 
and some flowers and stuff and a seashell in my ball. Dude. Dude. What? what? This is this so is why scary. this why is, is why so you scary? No way. Did you hear that music? And she said, I have prayed and meditated on your energy and a lot was revealed positively. And then uh she gave me a bunch more shit. She said she's I'm directing at paragraphs. She's yeah, she's stuff. uh but then she said, uh, "Would you would you like to donate to me for the readings before we proceed?" And I said, "Sure. How about twenty bucks?" <laughs> so I sent her twenty bucks on PayPal, and now I she's mean, honestly yeah. So uh, things I I gotta get down to who's sending me negative energy. So if you're my enemy out there and you're sending me negative energy, stop, because my ancestors are working <laughs> full time, and I want my ancestors to rest. I need them to be at rest. Yeah. They got other things to worry about than your negative energy. Yeah. My way. Yeah. Is it you, Phil? No. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing but blessings on your house. Ah, man. I'm so confused by this because so I, I'm sure you guys both. <laughs> What's get, confusing? Well, I'm sure you guys both get the thing where someone will be like, oh, my God, I find your picture so inspiring. Do you mind if I uh, paint this painting of you your gotta photos? You got to respond. And they say stuff like, of course, it's paid. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you're like. No, you're obviously not going to pay me to you just paint it. Do you don't like no one's going to know. Sure. Um but this she was so willing to do all the shit for free. It's how they lure you in cuz then they're like I got negative stuff now. Do you want to hear it? But like how long did that all go on for? Like uh, how much the how, last 2 days. Just on and off. And she only made 20 bucks? Yeah. But I guess she could have had a bunch of you on the hook. Yeah, probably. She probably got she dozens. It might be an AI, I don't temple? know. Temple? Yeah. Oh yeah. Two? How many followers do you have? Uh, like a hundred. Do you have Los Angeles in your bio or anything? I like I don't even. Yeah, I think I do. We went to that one temple once. Remember that we did the meditation thing. And then I got in trouble afterwards. Probably for the bonus episode we talked about that. Ooh yeah, let's save that. What time are we at, by the way? Uh, oh wow! Holy shit! We're we're plowing through Holy this. Thing. Wait, didn't we, there was a. <clears throat> there was another Reddit guy we wanted to talk about. Yeah, we will. Um, wait, but fuck, I was just gonna say something about this uh, the the painting thing. There's a scam, and I think some some people have killed themselves over this. But there's a scam where they will reach out to you and say, "We've got video. We've hacked into your computer, and we've got video of you jerking Jack, off." Yeah, yeah. That's I've a got that one. email. Yeah, you've gotten it. I've gotten the email. Yeah, yeah oh, I've it? gotten it too. But also. Uh, I know, sent out tons of videos of myself jerking off. <laughs> but I know people who have gotten... Um, like actual footage of them jerking Well, they've done oh, the, zooms. the cam yes. stuff, and then the, they didn't realize it's been recorded the whole time, and then after, <gasps> they go, okay, well, glad you had a nice time jerking off and stuff. We filmed all that, and they yeah. like make them do humiliating things. Yeah. Um, Dude, I've heard. I don't. Even I would know. just let. It, I would say, you know what? Go ahead, send it to everybody. True. It'd be their. What do I care about? What yeah. If if my brothers or my mom wants to watch that, that's on them. That's, that's their them. problem. And also, it's illegal. It's revenge porn. Yeah. Yeah, but they do it in a way that's. Uh, They're smart. They have a lawyer. Well, like present. they just like kind of notary present. They just kind of drop it on people. Yeah. And then they end up opening it and seeing like a loved one just like opening doing, with their butts. Opening like the nasty files. Oh yeah! Hey, oh. check out this cute video, they and then play it's it you. Back. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's yeah. You, but thank God, now you could just bells. say that's AI. That's AI generated. That's right. fake. There's, there's that scammers. video of me. That's AI. That video of me it's jerking off. AI. That video. <laughs> Our entire last episode that was AI. Me <laughs> fucking the toilet. Fake. We're good guys. Holy shit! Okay. What else we got? Well, speaking of the jerking off, I just thought you would appreciate this. Of all people, what is uh, that? for the audio listener, it is a fleshlight that has been. Um, it's a fleshlight. It has been modified with a Mrs. Incredible action I figure. I feel like all my Pixar potential writing jobs are going out the window right now. Ew! Ew! His voice is gross. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> she got stuck in these two. Man, these uh, these gooners, man, they are. I I just want everyone to know, I invented Pixar dump truck ass. Yeah, just you so did. You guys know you did. The, we've the, li- oh. we've been out, and someone's come up to you and said, "Are you the Are you the Pixar dump truck no ass way. guy?" Yeah, and uh, I think we were at, like Zebulon one time, and someone was like, "I used to drink a lot." <laughs> no, I remember. 
And then we danced on my coffee table. We did. Well, do you want me to... D- that d- coffee table. <laughs> do you want me to do this last thing? Yes. The, the guy? Who, wait, which guy is it? <clears throat> the, the bull. Oh, we're leaving on a down note. It's the bull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. So this is from um, Cuckold. Another Reddit. It's thing. another Reddit thing. Don't worry. It's not going to be a regular thing. It's not like that's what the show is, but it's just too much fun to um, to not... Look, sometimes you come across them and... Yeah. Uh, but it's from the Sometimes subreddit. Sometimes you get one that's like, "Hey, do you want to hear what benign?" Um, well, I when it reverberates through us all yeah. of like DMs where it's like, "Oh, you got to talk yeah. about it to somebody else." This subreddit is called Cuckold Psychology, <laughs> and the is, the user I, I just listen, I'm a mod on it, but it's just a part time gig. The user is the wank stank. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized. Uh, there's so many good subreddits out there, man. There's yeah, just yeah. some fucking maniacs, but. Uh, the, 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 the title of this is bull treats me like a child. And for those of you who don't know, a cuckold is someone who likes when their wife or partner gets fucked by another person. Mm. And that person is usually called a bull who comes over and plows your wife and <laughs> wheelbarrows her. And, uh, you just sit there and watch and, just, and you, even jerk you, off I, I, just... I think you get off on it. Yeah, oh, of it's... course you get it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. No. No, no I, mean, I hate it. I hate it. With well, it's hard for me to comprehend. And as someone who spent a lot of time on Reddit, I remember a very popular post where a guy was like, made a huge mistake, oh, watched man. a lot of cuckold porn, Ooh. thought it was my kink, had my uh, wife get plowed by some guy, and now I think it's all over. I can't move on from this. Blah, blah. Like, truly, and he's the one who asked for it. So he's like, I'm yeah. typing this from my car. I'm having a fucking meltdown. I'm like, you know, and I don't, I don't want to pose it to my wife because I'm the one who I I don't know what to do. I like I can't get mad at her. That's like the same deal with. Oh, with, it's the darkest. That's fucking- like when couples uh, who've been together a long time try to do like a three way. It can ruin marriages. Mm. Where I I a Never friend of a friend that dangling fruit. Yeah, no. man. Never just jerk take off. That dangling fruit. Just jerk off. But so he says, uh, I get he's the alpha, but it's kind of annoying how he treats me like I'm a kid when I'm 32 <laughs> and he's 35. Whenever he's not with my girlfriend in their room, he'll come up to me and say this things. That'll be addressed later. Yeah, this stresses me out. Uh, I know. It's incredibly stressful. He'll come up to me and say things like, how's it going, little man? <laughs> or if I show him something like a game or a movie or whatever, he'll over-exaggerate and say, wow, that is so cool, dude. Or if I, <laughs> or if I tell him a story, I'll get a response like, whoa, that's crazy, buddy. Even when the story wasn't that crazy to begin with. Then he goes out somewhere with my <laughs> girlfriend. Story wasn't that crazy. <laughs> yeah. Just him, him not in his room later, in the corner of his living room. That he, then know, when that he goes out somewhere crazy. with my girlfriend, he'll say, we'll be back in a bit, champ. <laughs> he acts more like a dad than a friend. Not that I really want to be friends with the guy to begin with, but I just find it kind of annoying, even though he's nice most of the time. Just kind of seems fake, though, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. This last paragraph is too good. about that sentence. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right now, he's living with us since his wife kicked him out. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm forced to interact with him more. Our room ended up becoming his and my girlfriend's room. His, his, our room ended up becoming his and my girlfriend's room ever since he moved in. I didn't get much of a say. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend Which made me horny. My girlfriend sure. and I barely ever get alone time now, so maybe that's also making me more annoyed by his antics. I don't know, but wish he'd stop treating me like a kid. Anyone else dealing with something like this? Anyone <laughs> else dealing with something like yeah, this? Yeah, with their is... cuckold, with their bull. Cuckold psychology. Man, I also, dude. it's just like, it's weird. He's <laughs> he's framing this in a kink thing and being like, I need help on how to get him to talk to me better. And it's like, my guy, your girlfriend's boyfriend is fully living in your house rent free because he got <laughs> kicked out of his house. There's about six uh, or seven yeah, things to take care of before yeah. that. I don't, Where are you sleeping? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Like, are you feeding yourself? What is happening, my Who guy? Who cares that his tone is kind of weird when he tells him stories? <laughs> and also nice. He's, like, kind of He's like giving you what you want. Wow, it's a crazy story, buddy. The buddies? Yeah. And the, uh, oh, that's real nice. That story wasn't He's even like, yeah, crazy. I don't get to sleep in my room anymore, but he's being kind of weird about it. That story was not that crazy. <laughs> well, I think that's a good place to end it. Yeah. And we'll go into the bonus. Uh, ben and Emil Show dot com. We got a lot. Let's see. We're going to talk about um, Phil being attracted to wrestler women. Well, we don't have to. Uh, you, you seeing a pretty cop. 
Uh, a lot of Phil stuff. So far. we're gonna read. We're gonna talk about books. We're gonna talk about. about we're gonna play the campfire game with Emil. Maybe we're gonna talk about Bam Margera, the maybe Rudy Mancuso movie. Uh, maybe Phil getting blackout with his parents <laughs> in Palm Springs. Okay. Phil maybe. getting blackout maybe. with his parents okay. in Palm Springs. A lot of stuff coming my way. Uh, and a lot then of stuff coming my way. we're gonna play my favorite. You know Miles, the top ten, top ten. You know Miles songs. You're gonna love them. You you guys are gonna fucking love these. You guys songs, got anything man. to plug? I don't have anything coming up, so I don't have any shows. I'm gonna grab a little a little up. snack, one of your Aussie bites, if that's okay. Yeah, of course. Oh, I don't Costco? know. Uh, I don't. Uh, now that I go to the poor uh, food store near me, things aren't going good. <laughs> I don't know if uh, if if there will even still be tickets left at this point, but the venue said there uh, uh, are under ten tickets left to the. Ben and Emil live in Brooklyn. Um, so if there are still a couple left, we'll put the link in the description if you want to come. Oh, also, uh, Hush Money, our single, still out. We have just put up a bunch of merch that we brought with South By to us. And then we have another single coming out April 22nd. Uh, probably we'll have another episode yeah. of this out by then. So that doesn't even matter. But thanks, everybody, for coming out to those shows. I really do appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I love that. I love That's Ben and Emil guys sick. coming out to the shows. That's fucking great. It's really cool. And Yeah, hell yeah. All right, we love you. Bye.